back to my channel. So today's Friday, I only have one class. I just have my first week at USC of, of actual classes and it's gone really well so far. But I have a little bit of time this afternoon so I thought I'd film a video about um, my summer internship on Capitol Hill. I worked for a senator for six weeks as an intern so I wanted to kind of have a chronological list in order something like that where I talk about the application I experienced the interview um, and then how I prepared for DC and then how um, how it was as an intern in DC and then lastly um, would I do it again um, that type of thing anyway so let's go ahead and get started thanks for watching and I'm in a study room right now because my roommate is sleeping in our apartment and I did not want to wake her up. That would be, I thought, rude. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing that I would say to someone who is interested in interning on the Hill is to just make sure you have a very polished resume. So the application process for me was very simple. Uh, it, it just included a little mini essay talking about like why you wanted to work for the senator in your state, that type of thing. And then there was a cover letter and a resume. So very basic um, application procedures and steps to follow, nothing crazy, right? So I think I applied in about February for the position and I, you know, I heard back pretty few weeks later that for my interview process and um, not anything very scary in the interview, very basic um, internship or like work questions, including like um, so why are you interested in interning for the senator in your state? Um, uh, like you know, what what do you what tell me about yourself? Like that very very basic information that you would probably expect to hear in, in any kind of interview situation. So that, nothing too scary like that. Um, I don't have any tips because it's really basic questions. But I will say, make sure that you stay up to date with current news stories, especially those regarding your senator. My senator had uh, recently done a little like virtual talk about regarding like telehealth and, and um, insurance and everything and so I made sure I was up to date with that and I sprinkled in information that I had learned about my senator um, throughout the interview just because it makes you seem like you really know what you're talking about and it shows that you're really invested interested in the position so that's what I did <laughs> so that's my second little bit of information and then my third little bit of information I would <laughs> tell anybody is that um after the interview, after the application, um, let's say that you learn that you got the job. So this is going to be the hardest part of probably anything you've done so far regarding this internship, which is finding DC housing. No one warned me, no one told me that it was going to be such a nightmare. It worked out in the end. But um, a little bit of a disclaimer, hopefully your office or the lobbying group or whatever you're working for in DC offer some kind of stipend. Fortunately, mine offered a stipend of about twelve fifty for the six week period, which, you know, I saw some that were higher, some better paid interns, and I saw some that were not paid at all. So I'm not complaining, but at the same time, it is not easy living in DC and it's not very cheap to live in DC. So you probably already knew that, but I'm just reiterating that. So I initially planned to do an Airbnb with my friends, but several things fell through, did not work out. So I en ended up inter um, staying at a Catholic convent in Brooklyn, um, DC. It's a little bit of like, it's near, they call it like Little Italy in DC, but it's like by the Catholic University. It was a great location, about like less than a half mile from the metro stop that went directly to Union Station for the Senate office building, so that was wonderful. But it was definitely a very stressful time trying to find housing. So I would say even if you think you're gonna get this internship or you think you're gonna have an opportunity to work in DC, make sure you take care of housing relatively early because it's going to be a nightmare trying to find it if you wait too long, like me. I probably waited, in, I mean, I did wait until after I got the position, but I should have probably already put like a deposit down on, like a low deposit on anything because I, it was a week before I got there when I found my housing and it, yeah, it wasn't even a full week. It was about like four days. So it wasn't even a full week. It was four days. I don't know what I was thinking. So anyway, that's just something to remember. 
All right. And then the fourth thing I would say is like the dress code. I didn't see a lot of information about this online, but um, it was mostly on um, days we were out of session, very basic for the for the women. It was just like a blouse or a button up little shirt or just nothing, um, nothing too fancy. I don't know. Not, but not a t-shirt, but like a nice little shirt. And you know, you could wear a skirt or a pants, but some offices said yes to jeans on it out of session days. Some didn't, but uh, my office said you could wear jeans, but then later said you couldn't wear blue jeans. So that was a little bit confusing, but whatever. <laughs> this is interesting. And then for the men, it was, I think a button up and I think jeans, not blue jeans, and like, like that. But for in-session days, it was definitely more dressed up. The men had to wear button-ups, suit jackets, suit pants, and a tie. And the women could wear pretty much the same thing for the out-of-session days, with just no jeans or, um, or blue jeans. So it wasn't anything crazy. And then the shoes were pretty basic. I don't know what they were for the men. I think it was like just shoes or... I think even tennis shoes were permitted, but for the women, um, just like no flip flops or sandals, or for the men too, like you couldn't wear sandals or flip flops, but um, it's pretty basic. It wasn't anything like extravagant. And um, yeah, right, so let's say you have this internship now, you know what to wear, you know what's going on. Um, here's just some information that I would share with somebody who's about to start an internship or in DC for a congressman or a senate, you know, in the senate or in the house. Um, I think the biggest thing that I learned was just how important networking was. Um, some people, I mean, everybody will tell you that. Anyway, I would recommend it to anyone who can. Interning was incredible in my office. I loved it. And I really hope to go back this summer. They did say I could come back, so I'm hoping they stay true to their word. But um, yeah, interning was incredible and it made me change my career path. I was pre-med and while I didn't, I didn't change it like flippantly. I really came back from my internship and I thought about it and then I went to Wales for a month with uh, my Fulbright co cohort and um, over that time I realized just how impactful DC and that environment was to me and that's when I was like okay I'm gonna go to USC and I'm gonna be pre-law and I'm going to minor in news media and policy. So you never know it might change you too. So um, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye.